this is your science period we are starting with a new chapter 12 reproduction in plants children you have already studied about reproduction reproductive parts of a plant and that was your flower today we will be discussing about the reproduction in plants by many other ways which is possible so children what is reproduction it is the process through which living organisms produces a new living things like itself and this process is called as reproduction how does reproduction takes place in plants that means how do the plants they reproduce so children there are different modes of reproduction in plants and the two basic modes are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction what is asexual reproduction and what is sexual reproduction that we will be taking up in asexual reproduction only one parent is involved whereas in the sexual reproduction two parents are involved either two organisms are involved in asexual reproduction gametes are not produced that means male and female gametes are not produced but in cell the gametes are produced by the organism in asexual reproduction the offsprings are genetically identical to the parents that means they are the carbon copy of the parents they are same as that of the parents whereas in sexual reproduction they vary they are different they are have generic variations then the cell division which you will not be studying in this year so but still i will tell you here the cell division is only by mitotic but in the sexual reproduction it is produced by meiotic division and after the development of the zygote and zygote development by the mitotic division here the zygote will not be formed then large number of uh, here sorry in asexual reproduction there will be no formation of the zygote formation then in asexual reproduction large number of plants are produced within very short time but here to compare if you compare the life span either the lifetime either the number of the uh, offsprings produced will take much more time as compared to that of the asexual reproduction so this is the difference between your sexual and your asexual reproduction now when we are talking of the plants the plants have got two parts one is the vegetative part and the other one is the reproductive part the vegetative part consists of the root stem leaves and buds but they are responsible for the growth and the nutrition of the plants whereas the reproductive part consists of the flowers now here you can see on the screen i have shown i have just got one uh, this thing to show you how the plant two parts have been divided up the uh, here you can see which you have already studied in your 6th standard that the plant has been divided up into two parts either two systems one is the root system and the other one is the shoot system so within the root system we have the roots whereas within the shoots we talk of the stem the leaves and the flowers okay so this is the two parts in which the plants have been divided up into so i hope it is clear to you that plants have got two parts one is the vegetative part and the other one is the reproductive part apart from that you might have understood that it has been divided up into two systems one is the root system and the other one is the shoot system now what is asexual reproduction we have already discussed the difference between asexual and sexual but here we will be going in detail now asexual reproduction new plants are obtained either new organisms are obtained without the production of the seeds or spores here the production of the seeds do not take place but if i say spores spores takes place in your other plants okay so spore formation is there but it is an different way 
ओके बट इट इज़ कैन कंसिडर्ड अंडर योर ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन बट वी ऑफन से देर इज नो प्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सीड्स देन देर आर डिफरेंट मैथड्स ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन अमंग दैम कम्स योर बर्डिंग फ्रैगमेंटेशन स्पोर फॉर्मेशन एंड वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑल दीज मैथड्स वन बाई वन बट हियर सिंस इन योर बुक दे हैव फर्स्ट डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद इट वॉट हैपन्स इन वेजिटेटिव प्रोपोगेशन आई द वॉट इट इज इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ ए सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन विच अ न्यू प्लांट इज प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम द वेजिटेटिव पार्ट ऑफ द प्लांट दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम द रूट्स स्टेम leaves and buds but since this reproduction is through the vegetative part of the plant it is said to be a vegetative propagation the other part that i say is a sexual reproduction it involves the fusion of the male and the female gamete so if you remember last year in your class you have studied within the flower we have the male and the female part okay and so from those parts only male and female gametes will be produced so after the certain growth most of the plants they bear the flower and we all have seen that the flower uh, flowers in the mango tree and many more other plants also either in other trees also that flowers which give rise to the mango fruits we eat the fruit but we discard the seed we do not eat the seed of the mango and what we do we often just throw them when we throw them these seeds they germinate into a new plant okay and there are various stages of this germination of the seeds which you have already studied these seeds which germinate and form the new plant now so now the function of the flower in these plants so flowers as you have already studied last year also they are help in reproduction either they perform the function of the reproduction in the plant flowers are those productive part of the plant which helps in reproduction so here you can see the different parts which we have already studied last year also that plants have got uh, sorry a flower has got four whorls okay and if you talk of these four whorls are your first we have the sepals then we have the petals okay and then we have the male part and we have the female part so there are four whorls first part is your sepals second one is your petals third one is the male part and this is the female part so here you can see how the four parts have been divided up into okay so this is the reproduction which is taking place by the flower that means it is your sexual reproduction that we are talking of and here in the other figure you can see they have just shown you how the different parts are there and what are they as already i just now told you that sepals which is forming the calyx petals which forms the corolla because you are family with these names also stamen which is considered to be containing the pollen grains and which is your male gametophyte or that is your male part and carpels which produce the ovule so they are the female part so this is how the division is done so here in both the figures it has been shown to you and it is clear to you now how the reproductive parts of flowers are there so flowers may have male part or the female part and sometime in some of the flowers it may have both male and female part together so children i hope today you have understood the topic reproduction and we studied about the asexual and the sexual reproduction now in other classes we will be discussing about the asexual mode and one by one we will be talking about all the modes so for you today home assignment is what is reproduction and distinguish between asexual and sexual reproduction hope so it is clear to you and tomorrow we'll start with the vegetative reproduction